Sullivan Rand here, and today we are looking at my uh, John Deere 8370R. This is a 1 to 16 scale model. This is the uh, Prestige Collection here. So it's one of the little bit better looking models, not necessarily considered a uh, play toy. And then I also have a John Deere disc to go with it here. This is uh, supposedly a John Deere 321 disc. So it's a fairly good sized disc here. It does fold up. Uh, this is considered more of a uh, play toy here, by the way, this uh, disc. And uh, interestingly enough here, this disc does not connect to the hitch on this uh, tractor. So, you know, kind of more of a model tractor versus a play toy tractor here. It actually says uh, John Deere 637 disc. I don't know why it says a uh, different number down on the side there, but uh, John Deere 637 disc. My apologies there on the uh, number. So anyway, not really looking at the disc here so much as the uh, tractor here. So let me just uh, set this off to the side here a moment with the, uh, the disc. So yes, the tractor here, John Deere 8370R. Again, like I said, prestige collection here, 1 to 16 uh, scale. Uh, this was one of the uh, first tractors I've purchased of the kind of, you know, better looking, more of a display uh, model type tractor. Uh, I do have, I think, one or two, like, just play type uh, tractors here. But this is more of a display. It uh, has duels all the way around. Uh, front weight pack on the front here. Again, these aren't individual weights, so if you see my 4840, uh, if you take this up to, like, a precision elite style tractor here, they, like, make all these weights individual. Uh, this tractor, again, a prestige model, so better looking, but not the best. Uh, not, you know, again, when you step it up from, uh, like, the prestige to precision, they really go up in price, by the way. So there's the other side. The uh, door here does open, if I can get it to open. If I can get it to open here. There we go. There the door opens. Kind of see in the uh, cab there. The hood on this uh, tractor opens here as well, and I will get the uh, camera in closer here. Uh, take a look in a moment. And then the uh, back side here, we got a three-point lift that does go up and down as well. Also in and out, which is it's almost like it's kind of spring-loaded because it'll spring back, kind of interestingly enough. Uh, we got warning flashes here that just kind of flip-flop around. They're kind of annoying, if you ask me. Um, I have considered, like, uh, super-gluing these in place, but I haven't done so just to, you know, in case you do hit it, I'd rather it fling out of the way than actually uh, break. So that's why I've not done that. Got uh, rear view mirrors up here as well. And then this uh, particular model here, if you look at it, has uh, diesel fuel and then there's a DEF. So a newer model, 8370R. I'm pretty sure that's probably the way most 8370Rs would come anyway. Uh, being that's the newer tractor, it had to be tier 4 compliant for those who don't follow the uh, engine technology and all the emission standards with these tractors. So uh, just to give a little detail here, John Deere 8370R would be an 837... Eight, you know, 370, not 800, 370 horsepower tractor there, so 370 horsepower, uh, weighs approximately 33,000 pounds, of course that depends on how you got it weighted out, weights on the wheels, uh, this particular model, as you can see, has weights in the wheels here, modeled that way anyway, so that of course is going to depend, but uh, basically 33,000 pound tractor, so in real life it's a fairly heavy uh, tractor. Uh, on the back of this particular tractor here, we got five SCVs. So almost a uh, full stack. I believe they can probably go as high as six there, I'm assuming. And at least uh, depending on the models, you can also get front SCVs, front hydraulics, all that good stuff as well. Uh, this particular model, again, has the independent ILS link suspension here on the front, although it is not actually modeled that way. Uh, if you look at how this is modeled here, let me pick it up. This, the, whole, the whole front end just pivots, kind of like the older style tractors do. So they didn't exactly uh, put it properly where the uh, front would independently, uh, sus basically independent suspension of each other. And then just to uh, bring the camera in close so you can see a little bit uh, closer here, we'll start on this side and just kind of work our way around. There's the uh, front there, the unique uh, 8R look. This, uh, by the way, is kind of one of the looks, I, uh, looks I've always liked about the 8R series. Uh, a little more so than the older 8000 uh, series, such as like an 8320 or something like that. Uh, not a non-R model 8 series. And then to the back. We definitely put a nice amount of detail in the back here when you look at the uh, back. There's definitely some uh, nice detail back there. And then to go back up front to the hood here. See if I can get that to stay up there. And we can get a nice look at the uh, motor that's in there. Again, they put a nice amount of detail into that. And then the other side here as well. 
You can see the whole uh, radiator stack up there. And try to close this back down. So yeah, that just uh, flip flops on there a little bit. Pretty cool. They actually got some sort of double hinging system. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. A double hinging system allows it to lift up as well. Not only pivot up, but then lift up. And of course, make sure it goes back down. And just for uh, comparison's sake here, this is an 8370R. I do have the newer model here as well. This is the uh, John Deere 8400R. Uh, looks basically identical. Looks like they did fix the uh, warnings though. They are not quite as floppy on this one. They're stiff, so that is kind of nice. So a little bit newer model here. Also, the big difference with this one, other than you know 8400 here, is it has triples on the back. So that's a lot of tires on the back here. Uh, again, kind of my favorite model. I do prefer the 8370 here. It's kind of my favorite, but uh, I do like this 8400 here as well. And like I said, it looks like they have improved the warning. They must have done something different, or either that, or there's just something wrong with the 8370R that I have. But again, it looks identical. And I have done a video on this tractor already, by the way, so if you want to see more about this particular tractor, I do have a, a video on that. Uh, steering on this tractor here, uh, it does turn fairly tight as far as, you know, if you were to play with it. Uh, the steering wheel, though, well, it does turn in the cam. I don't know, can I can you get it so we can see that? Yeah, you should be able to see that. There's Notice the steering wheel turns. It, it's very, very little bit compared to how much you're actually turning the tires there. Again, I don't know how well I can get a shot of in the cab here, but a nice amount of detail in the cab here as well. So yeah, definitely a better looking model. Definitely, uh, definitely probably one of my favorite models here. So everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, video here. If you have any comments or questions about that, be sure to uh, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.